Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to shoot this video specifically because I think I've had probably 10 people, honest to God, 10 of you have written me, probably more in the past week, with the very same theme. And that is, you know, it's, it's an age old theme that comes up, not just those of you that are writing to me, but really this can be anybody. Um, who wants to improve their lives, improve their health and wellness, or their fitness, or their financial life, or their professional life, or whatever. They find themselves saying, I want to do that, but I just, I think I'm too old. I want to do that, but Kelly, I'm not like you. I don't have, you know, as, as much time. I don't have the energy you have. Or, well, I want to lose weight, but I'm, you know, once you hit 30, it's all downhill. I've heard all of these things. Um, or, you know, that's all well and good, but Kelly, I don't have time. I, I work a busy job. There's no way. And I don't have a gym membership. I mean, I've heard every single excuse. And one of the biggest ones is, you know, I'm just not motivated like you are. I just don't have the energy that you have. I just... Um, I don't have, you know, I'm just not good at sticking to things. Um, I'm, you know, I, I, I try things and they never work and then I just give up. And what's the theme you keep hearing in all of these different sayings or complaints that people bring? Um, one of the things that I recognize, other than the fact that I need my bangs trimmed, um, one of the things that I recognize, and people, this is stuff I've recognized in myself as well, okay? So I'm not, I'm not you know, critiquing other people without saying, uh, you know, I've fixed myself in these areas. Ugh! My hair is on my last nerve today. Ugh. I'm getting ready to leave on vacation and I can't get it fixed until I get back. And that's when I'm going back dark. I'm sick of the summer look right now, but that's just me. Um, anyway, oh, Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, there you go. Sorry. That one looks, oh, I think it's because there's no light over there. That's why there's not as much definition on that one. Um, really stupid. When I see in my feedback, I can see like this one looks better because there's more shadows because there's light on it over here. Not so much, but that's because I don't have the lights on shining here. Anyway, when people come to me and they go, you know, oh, I can't, you know, I, 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 I don't have time. My job won't, you know, it's like they haven't even started and they're already making excuses or they're saying, well, I've done this and I've never lost weight. I've tried everything. Um, or they're saying, well, I'm just not like you, Kelly. I'm not young. I don't have the energy. You have all this energy and, you know, you're so motivated. I'm not like that. And the thing is, we, number one, we are what we decide to be, okay? I'm not gifted with any extraordinary amount of energy. Yeah, I'm going to say it's part of my DNA to be somebody who's positive. I've always been very excited, excitable, if you will. Um... So yeah, I'm sure that's a little bit a part of who I am, but it's also who I choose to be. Um, and, and I don't have some extraordinary gift of motivation. I choose to motivate myself. I wrote a blog post about this called Act First, Think Later. People keep thinking um, that they have to have everything. They have to have the perfect amount of energy, the perfect food. I've been guilty of this in the past before, thinking everything had to be perfect before I could start. But some people think, well, I have to wait until I'm motivated. I have to wait until my job is perfect. I have to wait until I have a gym membership. I have to wait until I have all of this energy that I don't have right now. Um, or, you know, like as if they think they're going to suddenly get, you know, younger, 10 years younger and have more energy. And then they're going to be able to work out. That's what the working out and the dieting and the improving your health and wellness will create. It doesn't happen by itself. You just wake up one day and go, wow, that's pretty awesome. I am suddenly energetic and motivated and I wasn't yesterday. That's that pill I took. It doesn't happen that way, people. And I get really frustrated when people think that it's such a, a passive thing. It's not. It's a choice. Um, it's a choice to, to get motivated, to get started. And furthermore, you guys know this is why I'm being so like brutally honest and sharing with you guys everything I'm going through with this whole bioidentical stuff because I'm in the middle of something that's very frustrating. I will say this, I'm, I, I'm very encouraged, I'm very excited, have made a lot of progress this past week. I'm just, I'm sorry about the hair situation, you guys. I'm just going through a period where I'm not liking 
I'm not liking the layers. I'm not liking the color. I got my hair colored. I had her, her fix it and go a little bit darker um, with some different highlights and stuff about probably two or three weeks ago. And I called her the next week. I'm like, I want to go dark. I'm just tired of this. And she's like, I don't have anything open till the 23rd. I'm going to be in Miami from the 16th to the 26th. So you know how impatient I am. Right now, every time that I look at my hair and I know I want it dark, and I'm seeing this, it's on my last nerve. So please forgive even more fudgeting than normal. Um, but again, I, I, sometimes I think that staying motivated and excited and positive and, and motivating yourself, um, convincing yourself to stay the course, um, getting more intense, more consistent, getting better every day, which is, is my focus. Sometimes I think that's harder when you're in the midst of the journey than when you're just starting. Um, in fact, I've said to Whitney several times when I've been texting her, um, or my friend Sherry, or Valerie, or whoever, I'm like, it is the single most frustrating time for me right now because I've given up so many of the things that are familiar to me, that are in many ways comfortable to me, and I'm trusting in the intangible right now. You know, I'm trusting that this treatment is, is building and cum accumulating and, and creating uh, effects that are gonna be um, much better in the future. And, and I'm trusting in a prog process that when I look in the mirror and when I think about everything I'm doing, I'm like, wait a minute, look at all the food I've cut, look at how much better my diet is, look at how much more consistent my training is. And even though I definitely see changes and other people around me see changes, in my body and whatever, many times I've looked in the mirror and I'm like, what is going on with this stuff around my core? I'm still thick. I still don't, you know, I don't have that waist like I used to wear. You know, it's always been very hourglass for me. It's more straight up and down. It is harder for me to stick with this now. It is hard, it's, it's very hard for me to, and I'm not saying going back to eating bad food or anything like that. It's hard for me to not, um, go back and add protein shakes, you know, and because I love my protein shakes with my cellucorn. I, I gotta give that up for a while. It's hard for me to not, um, you know, do little things like go have sushi with rice. Um, it's hard for me to, you know, again, just stay as focused on the course and keep pressing on as hard as I am when I'm not seeing like this dramatic transformation overnight. I'm human, but you guys, every day, there's no one else other than me that is in charge of keeping myself excited, choosing to do what I'm doing, choosing to not backpedal instead of progress. It's just me, and I don't have anything special that you guys don't have. And if you want results, if you want to change your future, then the biggest thing that's gonna change your motivation and change your the way that you feel um, and, and get yourself energized and motivated and, and whatever is action action first, think later. You really have to get that into your head. It's not a special power. It's not something that God gives to only certain human beings. That's just not it. It's a choice. And if you choose to say, I'm going to do something, then reach out to somebody, connect with somebody that can be your accountability partner, your friend. I believe that's, that's a firm step. Um, but just believe that you can and then start doing something. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be this massive makeover where you take everything out of your cabinets and you know you suddenly have to go from zero to 120. Don't be foolish. Just start to do something. That's what will make the difference, I promise you. And that said, today is my first video. It's under 10 minutes. I'm so proud. I'll see you guys tomorrow.